Still the Hobo, Avondale, which is quite a decent distance from NOLA. It's like, that was like a two or three hour bus trip. Two separate buses to get down here. So as you've got supplies and provisions you can buy right here. And then at the very end of this street is the train yard. So this is a pretty reasonable spot where you got the yard here and then Big Muddy here. It's another name for the mighty Mississippi didn't know that. I'd say the only issue is it's definitely going to be a mosquito central after dark. Also it doesn't look like this yard is as busy as I was hoping. There's just a bunch of cars sitting around. I haven't seen any activity. So I'm hoping down at the yard throat here I can get on. Up in here it looks like you got security and you got fences and stuff so hopefully they just pull out slow. So like I said I'm going to be on this train possibly more than 24 hours so we're going to need extra provisions. This seems appropriate drink for New Orleans. Let's get some of these. So I've got a major amount of supplies. I got fried chicken. I got this cheap wine. I got hurricane. I got a, I got this four loco gold. And what else? It's gonna be at least 24 hours on the train. I've got to be stocked up. Unfortunately, it's probably not all gonna be cold by the time I drink it, but that's life. So now I'm pretty much ready to just head over to the yard and hit park. Next BNSF double stack train out of here I am on. the same position as the last report a couple hours later and I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna divert already from the plan and get on this Union Pacific I think they're building this right here long story short I mean the situation on here is absolutely virulent mosquitoes well all of a sudden things have got pretty crazy here I think I want to get on this stack but this asshole is backing up and doing work, and I didn't see the engines on this. Well, I missed it because of this guy here parked right there. Right as the other train passed. So you can see, this asshole turned his bright light on. Quick update. I, just because I gotta change the plan, due to some I mean, there's supposed to be BNSF double stacks leaving out of this yard. I've seen absolutely no activity in that intermodal yard. So, I'm on UP, meaning I'm gonna have to change trains in Houston, guaranteed. I, I just can't spend, the mosquitoes are so bad. and dense out there. I'm just dreading if it's gonna get dark. If it gets dark and we're still in this, again, it's just mosquito, absolute mosquito infestation. Once again, I don't 
get what is going on but this type this is the, this is the speed the train has just been going at this speed i don't know if there's an old woman driving it i don't know if there's track problems but i mean i'm just counting the mileposts. i'm about 160 miles from new orleans at well over 12 hours after leaving I really hate to say it, but I'm not having fun so far at all. It's super hot, I'm getting low on water. The whole time you could just jump off the train. It's going this speed. It's ridiculous. This train has gone about 40 miles since we changed the crew at 6 in the morning. You know? Well, here we are again. Stopped for absolutely zero reason. I've been on this train about 18 hours and I've gone like 200 miles. It's just, it's really ridiculous. It's making me question like what is going on with this. I mean, I've never been on a train that's gone this slow for, for this long. The problem that's coming is that when it gets dark, there's gonna be merciless mosquitoes. Grim times, June 30th, somewhere in the Louisiana swampy areas out. Great, the train is finally in Texas and finally we're going fast. Hopefully it is Houston before the, the beer stores close. This has got to be the worst train I've, I can remember being on. It's going to be more than 24 hours New Orleans, Houston, and that's in a car, and that's like a five hour drive. It's ridiculous. I'm getting so worn out right now. It's not worth it. This is not worth the time. It's not worth spending a day to be stuck in these swamps. Because this is Beaumont, Texas. For whatever reason, they can't go through Beaumont at more than freaking 558. Police station right there. Look at that. This actually looks not bad. I could just get off. I could just get off. Give up on this piece of shit train. I, I'm so sick of this thing. Okay, it's got a huge junction here. I don't know what it does. I've never seen so many cops anywhere than in this town. This godforsaken train is finally going a little faster. The train is stopped in one of these just, you know, jungles of swamp, you know, here. And the insects, I mean, you're not, I don't know if you can get the real impression of what's going on with the insects, but you can hear. You hear those? There's just like, you know, hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes per acre here. And uh, as long as the train stopped, it's got to deal with the situation here. I'm done with the South. I'm done with this. This is exasperating. I long to be away from insects right now. And it's so hot you can't get in your sleeping bag. Forget it. Because you'd have to completely cover your face with the bag. I should. I could have brought insect repellent, but I'm totally exasperated. I'm just getting bit. Bit, 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 bit. All night long out here until this train gets going, and that could be another, could be another hour, could be three hours the way this thing's been going. All right, pulling into Houston. Just pulling right. There's the UP Hump Yard right here. Cars, a lot of different tankers getting humped on that. So what happened is a BN BNSF train on the same line came up and stopped and then started going again and I'm on that. So now I've switched railroads and I think I'm going south 
I'll end up at a BN yard, which is what I want to get to. Just the cityscape and all that. I don't really, I don't really got the energy about going and seeing another huge city. This is the kind of crazy BS you got to deal with sometimes. Fortunately, I'm really glad that it's nighttime. Looks like that train just went straight. Definitely a good time to resupply. Definitely looks like it's quite a walk into town, but absolutely no choice at this point. Okay. Don't want to go through the, the heat of the day like this with no water, food, nothing. Look at this sky right here. Look at this. Right here in Central TX, folks. I'm down to get some beer, hang out for a little bit. It's gonna be so obvious to the sheriff when I get, if I walk in from this direction like this, what's been going on. It is mega hot. This is also an area I guarantee if you're walking around with a big pack on, you're gonna to get too much attention. So I had to ditch that. I'm probably still, just the fact that you're walking just gets your attention in places like this. Look, there's no, nobody walks at all. If you're not in a car, it's suspicious in towns like this. You know, a lot of people have that Texas pride and that just proud to be Texas and all this stuff. Well, clearly those people aren't from here. This is one of the most pointless places I've ever seen. And from there, to there, to there, to there, I've already walked. And I can't find any place to buy beer. Or not just beer, but supplies. You know, I gotta keep going here. There's nothing I can find. It's really frustrating. It's super hot. Uh, Pretty much just totally miserable here. And to, to make things worse than I thought, I didn't know this till I got here. We got a junction, and this junction is gonna be a problem. Up that direction, that's Fort Worth. I just realized I went into the library and looked on the internet a little bit. I don't want to go to Fort Worth. And if you see here, it looks like you got three tracks going that way, and I think just this one is the one to Clovis, which is where I want to go. And, I mean, the yard is way back there. The train's gonna be moving when it hits the junction. And I mean, it's possible I'll just go to Fort Worth. I definitely am ready to get out of here. I mean, I can make do if it goes to Fort Worth, but it's gonna be a, a bigger pain than if I go to Clovis. So that's what's going on. Temple, Texas, July 1st. Cannot wait to get out of this place, out. All right, so here's the deal. You got northbound coal empties, guaranteed these are going the entire distance to Denver. What's the problem with these? First of all, basically, look at these coal cars. They're empty, so you're not gonna have to ride in the coal, but this is not a great ride. You're gonna be lying down somewhere in there. I mean, yes, you can ride in that, but look at that. You're gonna be so dirty. And look at that wall. Are you positive you can get out of that? I'm not totally sure you can actually escape unless you're really tall. So if you don't do that, you can ride in the DPUs, which are down here, which is a good ride, generally, but your problem is that people come and check in those. See, those are right in the gas station. I don't know if they're getting refueled right now, but they're in the gas station. People come in those once a day at least, and they do this little check. And from here to Denver, that's gonna be, that could be three days. It's ridiculous how slow these things go. 
That means at least two times from now, guys are gonna come in there. What do you do then? I don't know. But the fact is this train, both of them, there's two of them there, side by side. These are going to Denver. I can be on that train somehow and get all the way to my destination. And that's what I'm trying to decide right now what to do. First thing that will veto this, I'm not gonna ride in the, the empty coal car. It just, it's not, it's dirty. You don't see any scenery. And honestly, I'm not sure you can get out. So that leaves the DPU. Recently, BN has been locking all the DPUs on these things. For whatever reason, this begs a more fundamental question about this. Is there time to go get more beer or not? Because I'm out of beer right now. And if I'm gonna be on this thing for a day and a half to Denver, I'm gonna need beer. This overpass, if you go left on this overpass, it's not super far to the gas station with beer. So I could wait around, definitely get the train, or I could go get some beer, maybe miss the train. I'm just gonna take the advice that somebody in this situation thought. I'm gonna go get some beer. Not write that on the car, the things been written there it's been on there for years already and it's the perfect advice for a time like this lights the beer store here's the yard why 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 is it not here at this freaking intersection what the hell man We got a 12 pack of ice cold beer. Now it's time for the train to leave. I've never kissed a woman with as much passion as I'm sipping this beer right now. Oh, what a shot. Well, let's just say. A little later on, the right train has showed up. I'm in the rear engine of a coal. It means it's going to Fort Worth. I just, I ran out of patience. The bugs, the mosquitoes, everything. We got a 12 pack. Passing through this crappy town, definitely not gonna miss Temple, Texas. There's just nothing interesting or exciting about this place. This train's making the left. This is a coal empty, but we're making the left to Clovis. Guaranteed. I'm really interested to see what the final result is gonna be with this train. The good news is there's a lot of beer left in that 12 pack. And this train is about to start booking it. So nothing really to complain about here. Oh my goodness, we got a major problem here. The train is dead ended. Look at this, we're dead-ended here. 